guys welcome to chocolate sweets and thank you so much for stopping through my channel um as you can tell from the title this is a book review um this is the ultimate betrayal by kimberly lawson roby you guys know i'm a huge fan of reading um this book came out last year in 2015 um and i think this this is a book series and this is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is book number twelve in the Curtis Black series. So this is what the book looks like. And um, the very first book is Casting the First Stone. Um, that book was written two years ago, but. This series is awesome. I did do a review way back when on the entire series that I had read up until then. But this is book number, what did I say, 13? And there is a number 14 coming out this month, actually, in June. But anyway, this book is about Curtis's daughter, Alicia. Alicia, um... Let me just read the description of the book, okay? It said, it's been four years since Alicia Black, daughter of Reverend Curtis Black, divorced her second husband, the most corrupt man she's ever known. Since then, Alicia's been putting her life back together and rekindling a romance with her wonderfully kind first husband, Philip Sullivan, whom she'd been unfaithful to in the past. Alicia has worked hard to regain his trust and when he asked her to marry him again, she couldn't have been happier. But Levi Cunningham, the drug dealer Alicia cheated with, has just been released from prison. He's turned his life around and will do anything to win her back. She doesn't want to hurt Philip again, but she can't get Levi out of her mind. At, this, at a time like this, you need friends around but Alicia's longtime confidant, Melanie, has problems of her own. Her husband works long hours, and her obsession with her weight is intensifying by the minute. How long can she keep up the fast game of a happy marriage and a perfect home? Fresh betrayals lead to unexpected consequences, and Alicia's relationship with Philip might not be the only thing that needs saving. Can Alicia and Melanie protect each other and the men they love? Now, let me tell you. Now, like I said, Alicia was married to Philip way some books back. And Alicia had a shopping addiction. And she ended up cheating with Levi in, uh, in books way back. Levi was a drug dealer, but this was during that time when Curtis was um, not still the minister that he should have been he was still doing a lot of dirt and levi used to give curtis's church money so levi and uh, curtis were friends or whatever you want to call it back then well alicia was cheating and sleeping around and she met levi and started sleeping around with levi and how it all came out um during that time alicia had a shopping addiction she spent all money. She was lying and all that stuff. Fast forward to this book. Of course, um, Philip divorced her and left her. It was like no counseling. He just left her. But when Alicia mar married a second guy, and he was just after Curtis's money. He didn't really love Alicia. And then during that time, her and Philip rekindled. So they had been dating all this time. So... I think it's been seven or eight years, and so he finally asked her to marry him again. And after they had been dating for seven or eight years, he finally, you know, she's supposed to have been changed, and he finally asked her to marry him again. So they've been engaged for a year or so. They're planning this wedding. The wedding is like two months away. Um, a real intimate wedding, nonetheless. But Levi gets released from prison. And he starts sending Alicia emails and text messages because she's never changed her number or what have you. So, Alicia starts sneaking off, going and seeing Levi again. And the first person who noticed a change in her behavior was her father. And her father automatically knew because somebody told him 
that Levi was out. So he knew what she was up to when she would start getting lost and nobody would know who she was. So of course she starts sleeping with Levi again. But and that they're supposed to be in love and soulmates and he gives her an ultimatum and tell her that she has to leave um her husband her fiance at the time and don't marry him well because she wanted to you know not be um looked upon and you know don't want to upset anybody she goes ahead and marry philip anyway well to get to the goodness Philip was the associate pastor at her father's church. And when he find out that Alicia was sleeping with Philip, all hell broke loose. He threw all his religion out the window and he had a gun and somebody died. So, of course, this is a great freaking book. Pick up the book um, if you've read the series. If you haven't read the series, you're going to be kind of lost. And you're not going to really know what's going on. But um, her friend Melanie has an eating disorder. Her mother, I did forget to tell you about that part. Her friend Melanie, they've been friends since high school. And her friend Melanie has an eating disorder because her mother had an eating disorder. And always told her how fat she was. So the girl running around here for weeks not eating and drink eating a salad and drinking juices and smoothies in the place of meals and passing out um her dad uh her mom would call her fat saying she's looking like a size 10. we all know a size 10 is not fat but however she has an eating disorder and her husband has been losing money like monthly like ten thousand dollars a month he's been like he's been telling her that he's been losing it in the stock market well to find to come to find out it was actually melanie's mother who um was behind a scheme that was blackmailing melanie's husband so i don't want to give you all the details of the book but Melanie does end up getting, getting some help for her eating disorder. But when she found out that her mother was actually behind the scheme blackmailing her um, husband. So that's going to be a big thing there. So the book is really, really good. I'm waiting for Sinful Calling to come out. And that's going to be about um, Curtis's illegitimate son that he just found out he had three books back. So he is going to start a church. So I'm really excited about that book. And of course, there are some questions for the reading guy in the back um, for you to, you know, have discussion questions. Um, but yeah, great book. Pick it up. It is Ultimate Betrayal by Kimberly Lawson Roby. But only pick it up if you've read the first 12. I know a lot of you may not have read the first 12 books or 13 books. 12 books, but this is 13. Um, the first 12 books, so you would be kind of lost because there, there are three books that would tie into this. So, yeah. So, that's my review on the book. She has, Kimberly Lawson Roby also has other books as well, independent novels. I have read all of those except for two, I think. She is an awesome, awesome author. I read these books like I have to make myself put the book down and try to read a chapter at night, read a chapter at night. She is an awesome author. I love all, I have not read a bad book by her yet. So definitely go pick up some of her books um, if you're really into reading like I am like right now I would do nothing but reading because basketball is about to be over and then there's that break before football starts so I do a lot of reading during that time so yeah thank you guys so much for watching be blessed toodles